<laughs> I'm doing this for you. Hi everyone, my name is Noah and welcome to my channel. So today I wasn't really sure what I wanted to film for this week's video So I took it to my Instagram story and asked you guys recommendations or things you wanted me to film for this week Now a lot of you guys asked me to film a cooking video and I'm always surprised by how Requested these videos are because they're really fun to make and usually what's fun is not what works Maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm not really sure what number in the series that is, is. <laughs> But I will put the link to all my other Cooking with Noah videos in the description box down below so if you haven't watched them or if you want to re-watch them You can go ahead and do that another reason that I really wanted to film a cooking video right now is that it's now 1 30 p.m. And I just got out of class and I didn't eat today and I'm starving So you probably saw it in the title and today I wanted to show you guys how to make five easy breakfast ideas for Summer or even school, but that's what I eat this summer a lot. I'm just gonna go through these very easy recipes Can you stop screaming? Thank you. And then I'll eat them all. Five. It's gonna be my lunch. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is an avocado and egg and hummus toast. Maybe I shouldn't do that first because then it's gonna be cold and disgusting by the time I eat it at the end. Let's do that again. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is a smoothie. It's very easy to make. You just need a blender and the ingredients, of course, pretty filling. So let's just jump into the smoothie. It's very simple for this. All you're gonna need is your blender, a banana, almond milk. Um, also, I have these sliced strawberries and bananas. It's like frozen that I just got, but it's pretty good. It replaces because usually I would put ice, but if I have frozen fruits, then I just add this instead. And then you need spinach, but I just realized that I forgot to buy spinach. I'm sorry. And you can also add protein powder. Um, my roommate has this really good protein chocolate powder that we've been using for smoothies. I don't know why I'm smelling it because protein powder does not smell good, but it's really good and doesn't really change the taste that much. So if you can add a little protein to your drink, then why not? So the first thing I'm gonna do is put the frozen fruits or if you don't have frozen fruits, the ice first. It just makes sense to put the hard things first so that they don't float in the liquid and they never get blended. Okay. Then I'm just gonna open my banana and cut it into small pieces and put it inside. I hate that you guys can't really see what I'm doing. Who needs a second camera? I'm gonna use my phone. Don't judge me, okay? I'm doing this for you. If the footage isn't good, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm a mess, I don't know why you guys watch me, honestly. Then the next thing I do is add the milk. I don't really know how much, I just put a little bit of milk. One little serving of the protein thing, and yeah. So once you have blended everything, you have your smoothie in there, and that's basically everything you're gonna do. You just pour it in your glass and enjoy it. It's probably the fastest breakfast, like when I'm in a rush or when I really don't wanna cook anything or do anything, I just do a smoothie. It's pretty filling, more filling than you think. Okay, so moving on from the smoothie, the next thing I have is a yogurt parfait, whatever you wanna call it. I don't really know how to say yogurt. Yogurt, hey Siri, how do you pronounce yogurt? Yogurt. Yogurt. I'm seeing it, right? Wow. It's very simple too. All you're gonna need is your favorite yogurt. I like coconut. Um, the only one I could find that was coconut was this Simply Balanced one. Then any type of fruit. Um, I usually use berries or strawberries. This time I am going to use a banana because I really want bananas today. Then I have walnuts. I have coconut flakes. I have chocolate chips. I know. 
and then I have honey. So basically this recipe is just gonna be putting together all of those ingredients. Um, I'm probably just gonna make it look pretty because that's what I like to do when I eat something. If it's not pretty, then I'm probably not gonna eat it. So you just put it into your bowl and then you're gonna add your other ingredients. I'm pretty sure this is not the best way to cut a banana because this is pretty dangerous. And if the skin is not thick enough, then you're gonna cut your hand. So don't do it like this. Okay, so you put your bananas on one side, then I'm gonna take some walnuts. Um, I usually like to break them down a little bit because walnuts are like this, pretty big. I could never be a beauty YouTuber. Oh, the hand thing. It actually works! So, so we just break it down, put them inside, and then what we usually do is take the coconut flakes and mix them a little bit with these. I'm just kidding. And then on the last side, I should probably not do that, but I don't care if it's healthy or not. I really don't. You guys, my chocolate chips melted and did this one thing. This is very tempting. Mmm, this is so good. Okay, guys, if you want good chocolate chips, get Toll House Nestle, no chocolate, more so. Delicious. I'm just gonna add a few. A few. So I'm gonna put a little bit of honey. I usually put it over the bananas. I'm just like, I don't know why. And that's it. You have it, your little yogurt parfait, and it looks really good. I can't wait to eat it, but I'll eat everything at the end self-control okay my third breakfast idea is actually not that fast unless you get it ready the night before or the day before and I had to do it it's a crap <laughs> if you guys have been following me for a while you probably know that I'm in love with crepes I make them all the time and that's probably the most French thing about me. Now I'm not gonna go too much in detail about how to make crepes because I have an entire video on how to make them and basically all you have to do is put milk, eggs, butter, and flour together. I think so. A lot of milk. The things I realized since I moved in alone and my mom doesn't make my crepes for me is that to get the perfect crepe you have to be willing to be patient and wait for your pan to be really at the perfect temperature. And you're gonna take some cooking spray or I have coconut oil, you can put butter, a little bit of that. Make sure it doesn't stick to the pan. And then you take your ladle and you just pour it on there. Okay, and then basically you wait and you can get ready whatever you wanna put on your crib. You already know what I'm gonna put. I'm still waiting for my sponsorship. Where is it? I don't know. I spent too much money on this but it's worth it. <laughs> Other things that I love to put on my crepes are strawberry jam. I love to put sugar and lemon juice. I've actually been looking for lemon juice here in my supermarket in the US because in France it's so easy. We have these like little bottles, little bottles of lemon juice and you just pour it over the sugar and it's so good. Okay, so once you see that the dough is actually dry everywhere and there's little bubbles that start forming, it means it's time to flip your crepe and just Make sure that the corners of every side are well not sticking. And then you know. Almost. So once you start seeing the bubbles again, you can check and once your crepe is a little golden on one side, it's perfect. It's a little golden. Then you're just gonna put whatever you want on your crepe. And also if you want a more detailed recipe on how to make crepes. Link will be in the description box down below. I'm such a good cook. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump into more of the savory breakfast ideas. I wasn't really into savory breakfast until I moved in the US. I don't know why, it's not really a thing in France. We mostly eat like sweet stuff. When I'm looking for breakfast that's really gonna fill me up if I have a long morning ahead of me, then that's what I would do. I usually do this avocado toast with hummus, egg, um, and if I want turkey. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a slice of bread and put it on a pan that is heating right there. I don't have a toaster for some reason, but I also think that putting it on the pan just makes it golden again. A little golden. So that's gonna be the first step, and then we're gonna start cooking our egg. I have this little pan that I always use for egg paste. I'm just gonna cut it 
like this. Oh my god, I keep doing that thing. Mom, if you're watching, I'm sorry, I'm using a clipboard. I promise. And then you get this life-changing tip. Take a spoon. I feel like everyone probably knows this tip, but you can just scoop out your avocado and it looks perfect. Well, I kind of messed it up, but first thing I'm going to do is... Too many things. The egg is burning. Put my bread on my plate. Put some hummus on it. I know hummus is like, either you love it or you hate it. I have friends who like could eat it every day at every meal and others who hate it, but I got used to it and I kind of love it now. The next thing I would do is probably put some avocado. I'm only gonna use half because I'm gonna use the other half for my next little breakfast idea. That's what you get so far. And I'm gonna add a little bit of turkey. I said it already, but I'm trying to gain weight, so. We're trying to get protein, you know, energy. That's what that's what we're doing. I hate how these packages are. Like, I never know how to take one slice without touching the rest, and then they all get like. So you put your turkey on top, and then you're gonna. If I ruin the egg, look how beautiful this egg is. You can basically put your egg however you would like it. I really, really like my egg sunny side up for some reason. <laughs> the only thing with this pan is that the spatula doesn't fit. So how do I get it out? Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys, success. That's basically it for this toast. It looks good. Oh, pepper. I don't add too much salt because I don't like my food too salty, but I do put a lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. So let me put that aside and there's starting to be a lot of food next to me. I don't know how I'm gonna handle this. And finally, my last recipe for these Five breakfast ideas is actually something that I made during my morning routine, my summer morning routine that I filmed a couple of weeks ago. So if you haven't watched that, you can go and check that out in the description box down below. There's going to be a lot of videos in the description box, but you know what? You know what? I'm going to make these scrambled eggs with sausage, chicken sausage, and avocado. This is like also when I want to be really full and I'm really hungry. <music> Basically, all you need is eggs, your sausage, and your avocado. I'm just gonna make one today because I already have a lot of food waiting, but I would probably make two usually. In the meanwhile, you're gonna take one sausage. <laughs> Why did I just do that? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I use chicken and apple sausage because I don't really know which one to get when I go to the grocery store. And this one looks good, but you're gonna cut your sausage into small pieces i hate that you can't see really i'm sorry it's annoying like is it oh my god i just got really scared don't do what i do leave this video right now i'm kind of traumatized now what you're gonna do is put them in a pan put that in there make sure it's not burning I probably shouldn't have put the entire sausage because there's gonna be a lot of sausage. You know what that just reminded me of? Anywho, I'm gonna start pouring my egg inside the pan. Pour it there. You guys like this? <laughs> it's like. It's only sausage, but then I have a little bit of egg on the side. And then I'm gonna take the rest of the avocado that I just used earlier. Okay, now I'm very frustrated because I had a joke. I've had a joke in my mind for like five minutes and I know it was hilarious. Like it was so funny and I forgot it and now I just... No, I don't have it. I lost it. I need to stop making these faces like okay so i guess that is basically it for this video i showed you guys my five favorite breakfast ideas that i've been doing this summer um i hope you enjoyed this video and that you got a little bit of inspiration and ideas for your breakfast because breakfast is a really important meal of the day and you can make it the best meal of the day it's literally my favorite so do it but yeah if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also comment down below if you have any video idea or suggestions don't forget to follow me on all my social media you know the deal all the links will be in the description box down below wait i remember no Oh, I forgot it again. I swear it was so funny. That joke was like the best in the entire world. That's it for today. I'll see you guys next week for a new video. Bye. I'm actually not hungry anymore. Just like being around so much food just filled me up.
I'm gonna call my friends. Are you hungry? I need too much food. <laughs>